Ready to unleash the full power of Unreal Editor's foliage mode? In our first video, we unlocked its basics. Then we showed you how to add custom 3D models, textures, and materials to create your own unique vision. Now, buckle up as we dive into the advanced tools and features that will truly transform your island, allowing you to transform barren wastelands into dense forests, rolling grasslands, and lush tropical paradises, all within minutes. And to those who want to follow along step by step, and don't want to use the Fortnite foliage assets, in the About section of this video, you can download some custom 3D foliage assets we created. You're free to use these assets to not only follow along, but in any project or game you create. So grab your mouse and let's get started. Let's begin by dragging some static meshes into our foliage list. Something to note, you can add more than just trees, grass, or plants. You can add any type of static mesh to the foliage library mesh list. We went over many of the basic tools and features in our previous video. So let's talk about some of the more advanced tools and settings in foliage mode. With a foliage asset selected, click the pencil icon next to the foliage search bar. This shows the details of the selected foliage type and lists all of the various settings specific to that foliage asset. Some of the settings of note in the filter dropdown are component class. The component class allows you to determine which component class to use for foliage instances. For example, you can use and make a blueprint subclass to implement custom behavior and assign that class here. Override materials allows you to add a new material to override foliage materials. Some of the settings of note in the painting dropdown are density represents how many instances of the foliage should be placed per 1000 by 1000 unreal units. Radius represents the minimum distance between foliage. Single Instance Mode Override This option overrides the default way of detecting a foliage asset's collision with other instances when painting in Single Instance Mode. Single Instance Mode Radius represents the radius used in Single Instance Mode to detect collision with other instances. Scaling is a value that specifies foliage instance scaling behavior when painting. Vertex Color Mask by Channel allows you to use the RGB color channels to create a vertex mask for foliage. Some of the settings of note in the placement dropdown are Z Offset specifies a range from minimum to maximum of the offset to apply to a foliage instance's Z axis. Align to normal. If align to normal is enabled, the foliage will align to match the normal of the surface they're painted on. Random yaw. When checked, foliage have a random yaw rotation around their vertical axis. Ground slope angle forces foliage to only be placed on surfaces sloping in the specified angle range from the horizontal. Height forces foliage to only be placed in a minimum and maximum altitude range. Mm -hmm. 
Inclusion and exclusion landscape layers allows you to limit or exclude adding foliage to specific layer names. Many of the options in the instance settings, scalability, and virtual texture dropdowns can have a high impact in regards to increasing or decreasing game performance and frame rate. That said, it's best to leave these settings at default unless you are familiar with how each one will impact your game. However, an important setting to pay attention to within instance settings is collision presets. This setting determines how collision is handled for the foliage asset. For example, even if your static mesh has a collider, but the collision preset is set to no collision, any foliage instances of that mesh will not have collision. From sun-dappled canopy cloaking ancient secrets to vibrant coral canyons whispering forgotten lore, your island paradise is almost complete, but there's one final scroll hidden in the forbidden vault, the key to unlocking visuals that push Fortnite to its limit and transform your map from pixelated playground to breathtaking paradise. In our final episode, we'll crack the code to creating AAA visuals and foliage. We'll take your newfound skills and reveal the sacred scrolls we use to craft jaw-dropping landscapes that will leave players speechless. We'll reveal all the tips, tricks, techniques, and features that will enable you to paint impossibly lush jungles, photorealistic meadows, and breathtaking vistas, all within minutes. Ready to dominate Fortnite visuals and make your map a legend? Smash that subscribe button, unleash your map code below, and let's paint Fortnite green together. Remember, you're not just building maps, you're crafting worlds. So grab your tools and sculpt your masterpiece. But always remember, don't just play, create.